Josh McQuiston of Soonerscoop.com here with Oklahoma Edge Offer and uh, newly crowned junior uh, prince, <laughs> Max Granville. Max, uh, you know, I had I see that, and then I, I had some of your teachers come up to me and tell me just what, what a guy you are in the classroom and everything. I mean, is that something you think about? I mean, do you try to really excel in everything you do? Uh, I just, you know, I love Jesus, and... I try to live my life according to the Bible, so whatever that looks like, I try to be a good student, you know, um, just be a light. And I have like, I don't know, once you get to know me, mm -hmm. I'm like personable, friendly, so, you know, I can see why people would go up to you. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Well, now I I gotta gotta give the guy his credit. It was your sculpting teacher that walked up to me and was telling me. Now he tells me you're building a weight bench or something. Like you're sculpting some kind yeah. of weight bench. I'm doing something for a bench press. It like hooks on, mm -hmm. and then when it hits your chest, it drops off. So it's like extra weight you can train okay. for um, progressive overload. Okay. But I'm not very close to being finished, so <laughs> hopefully by Christmas. Sure. Hey, it, it's it's first. It's still first semester. You're all right. You got time. Yeah. Well, uh, now you know. Uh, on to everything else. Obviously, had a, had a nice night. Now you knew this was going to be a little bit of a a mismatch, man. What um, what do you try to get out of a game like this? It's you you know you kind of come in knowing. You're, you're going to have your way a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I just try to play to the standard, you know, and not um, deviate from that and play down to my competition. I'm still working on that. Like, it's not perfect. But um, that's actually something Coach Chavis talks about from mm -hmm. Oklahoma, like playing to a standard. So I'm really trying to work on that. Um, you know, you can kind of view it as, like, practice in a way, just trying to get better. Sure. Yes, sir. Now, I, I was going to say, I'm not the most important OU guy that's been around here lately. I know he was down here a few weeks ago. He was. Uh, what, what's that relationship been like so far? I mean, he being the high energy guy that he is, guys seem to like him pretty well. Yeah, I like him. That's my guy. Um, we have a good relationship. I've been on campus a couple of times. Um, yeah, he's cool. I'd say we talk more in person rather than like over the phone because he gets busy. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, have you been up there for a game? I'm trying. You were back last season, right? Like, wasn't? Right. Um, I did not. I have not gone up there for a game okay. yet. I don't know if I will be. But if not, if not a game, then I'll hopefully I'll visit like in the winter or something. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, now, do you have anything planned? Anything coming up to any schools? I don't have anything set in stone. Mm -hmm. I know there's a couple of schools, like a couple in the Big Twelve, a couple of SEC teams that I might visit. Okay. Depending on like how far playoffs go and stuff. Sure. Now, obviously, your dad's got a background. I mean, you know, you, you, how much does that help you to have someone who's – recruiting's a little different from his time to now, but he's been through a lot of the things you're going through. How much does that kind of help to have somebody bounce stuff off of? Yeah, it's been great. Um, he talks a lot about it, but <laughs> I really appreciate him. I love him. Um, I don't – I know he probably doesn't feel that way because I kind of keep it to myself, but he – I'll make yeah. sure he sees the video. I'll send it to um, you. Like, yeah, as you say, he played the game. Yeah. Uh, he has a lot of knowledge. He's helped me so much. Uh, he's been training me since I was little, and uh, I, I enjoy, I appreciate the input mm -hmm. he gives me. I know he wants the best for me. Okay. Yeah. There is obviously a long way to go in your process. You're, you know, just, just ending your junior year here, or getting toward the end of your season anyway. What, what's kind of the plan for you? I mean, do you, are you a guy that wants to have it done as quickly as you can? You gonna have me work until signing day? Well, what's kind of the plan, man? Uh, so, I plan to visit, like, schools. Um, I'll probably drop a top 10, I don't know, sometime from now to, like, February, okay. whenever I decide to get that down. It's kind of tough, especially like picking up new offers. Sure. And then uh, kind of visit those schools, narrow it down more, take some officials, and then I'll commit probably. It could be sooner, okay. depending on like if I really am feeling the school. Sure. I don't get see the point like waiting it out. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I don't really know. Okay. Now from your words, I guess it's probably safe to assume oh, you will make whatever cut comes out first. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. And last question, you know, just for you, I mean, Obviously, I think a lot of people would see Fort Bend Christian and kind of say, oh, you know, who, who's he playing? What, how much does it help you every day in practice to have a guy that's going to the SEC? I mean, ha having another dude that's that's obviously got a lot of ability in his own and Bennett. Yeah, um, it's good going against, like, someone that big. Um, man, I, can, I couldn't imagine, like, just going against, like, um, someone the size of our other tackle. Nothing against him, sure. but just, like, the competition I'm going against at the next level. 
kind of getting used to that body frame because mm -hmm. um, he's pretty prototypical yeah. of a left tackle or right tackle. Yeah. So he's helped me a lot. I've actually known him since middle school. We went to middle school together, so that's been good. Well, Max, you said as we get to know each other, now you're going to get to know me. I'm real bad about saying last question, and then I throw one more in. Yeah, so uh, really, though, the last one, somebody I kind of want to ask you, watching you out here tonight, I mean, you line up at Mike some, they move you around a lot, you know, kind of do some strength stuff, you know. What has OU kind of told you this is how we see you being used or somebody they have you watching, like, this is where we would we would see you? Yeah, they just want me on the edge mm -hmm. as, like, a DN, like um, our Mason Thomas. Okay. They throw that name around a lot, and um, – he coached Vic Beasley at Clemson. Yeah. So something like that. I'm okay. not going to be – or it seems like I'm not going to be playing, like, in the middle a lot. Sure. Mostly on the edge. Okay. Yes, All sir. Right. Well, again, this has been Joshua Quishner, Tutorscoop.com, here with a little bit of royalty, Max Granville. Boomer.